<laughs> All right, doing right here some autofocus tests. This is the best way to autofocus test on the firmware 2.0. Hey, so what do you think about the new firmware you've got in your camera? Well, it was unexpected, to be honest. I was expecting it to be released on 30th of September, but it got released yesterday, uh, late evening. So I did upgrade the camera. The this is the first time I'm shooting with a firmware 2.0, like the final one, not the ones they had at the, fir at the trade shows. And uh, this is scary because uh, it looks like I'm, I'll have to buy this camera now. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Let's walk a little bit. Yeah. Just not so far. Let's walk over here. So it should be tracking your face right now. Let's walk a little bit faster. Is it? Yeah. I think it's. Let's let's show my little camera that I'm usually yeah, usually I'm using a, this a, one. It's a small Sony camera. Yeah. yeah, it's getting it's getting to it really fast. It's nice. It seems stable. I haven't I haven't seen some horrible loss of focus yet. The way I'm filming, usually. And with your IBIS is engaged, right? The the whole yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, got lots and lots of bokeh, lots of bokeh. I try zooming also. Yeah, I'm zooming a little bit while I'm moving back, and it's staying right on focus, showing off the cool hardware. This is great. So, what's the main? Uh, thing you're looking forward to in the firmware 2.0? Well, I like the open gates as 6K mode. Uh, the only sort of missing bit is that it's 10 bit, but it's 420 instead of 422. It's a bit sort of less than I was expecting, but it's long up, which is very good. So that's the, the biggest thing for me. So you're gonna shoot? Are you gonna be tr getting a V90 card soon and shoot in 400 megabits? Well, I'll wait for a couple of months. I'll wait for a couple of months because I'm not going to, to pay for those cards as much as they ask at the moment. So maybe I'll buy, buy some V60 card when they have plenty of those. But we'll it see. might be that the V60, as far as my calculations go, it depends if the 400 megabit is an average bitrate or if it's a constant bitrate. If it's a variable bitrate, it might peak yeah, too high you're right, and it you're might right. stop the so recording. I'll just if you wait move. and let people testing and finding out what's wrong. What works, what not. I think it's impressively good right now. You think it's better than dual pixel? <laughs> it's good enough everybody's, for me. Everybody says on the internet that dual pixel is better. It's good for me. It's yeah, you, you, and you do manual focus. But Mostly, uh, yeah. in, the, in the way that I'm shooting, I can, it's, it feels like I might be able to uh, rely on this. Uh -huh. oh. It just it's yeah, continue right here. So basically, I just tapped once on your face, and it just stays. And the, totally the ibis and everything. Yeah. Oh, the camera. So I, I need to be ready. If you show something else, to be able to ready ready to tap on it. Otherwise, it's not gonna guess. But. Uh, uh, well, at so least it works. There's a long list of laundry list of new features on the new firmware, right? This, this, aren't you excited about some other stuff? Well, I have to try it first. But what I liked was uh, video guides, so you can add guides for different uh, spec ratios, and that is important for open gate mode, because basically you shoot four four by three, which is not what you want to get as a final result. The feeling I'm getting uh, trying out your nice autofocus and this this amazingly cool bokeh effect and cinematic cinematic quality is now I I have to think of a script. I have to start sh shooting feature film. Why not? Why not? Are you gonna shoot a feature film with this? No. Just documentary, no. right? Yeah. For now. Yeah. It's I think it's easier documentary. I just ask, who are you? What do you do? You know, it's easy. Well, the the hardest part is editing. Yeah. Shooting is simple. You just need to come up so, with decent questions and find proper people for your story. And it's funny, we're shooting just yesterday. We thought that it was going to be four or five days before the firmware, huh? Yeah. yeah. But it just came out so, this Panasonic morning. Panasonic is incredibly quick. It's running ahead of the rumors. Well, quick. They, they took them six months to fix the autofocus, but I mean, still. Wait. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> they, they said from the very beginning they are going to release it later. And they did that. 
But I mean, it would have been cool to have this cool autofocus at launch. I'm yeah. really impressed. This I is cool. Yeah. I'm focusing on everything and just staying. This is scary. Contrast based is totally fine. He's testing you. Well, you two geeks do. He's just testing. Hey. <laughs> hey. Are you busy still this week? No, nope, not at all. I have nothing nope. to now do. Now you're free, right? The rest of you. Yeah. I, I actually, actually, I never do anything when I'm here. I'm just pretending to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Just sit. So. You're just sitting on lots of meetings. And yep. So will you put that on YouTube? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Great. <laughs> thanks for being part. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. That's awesome. All right. I'm just gonna jump over here. Yeah. Arm. Yeah. Yeah, so basically I, I never wanted to just like autofocus whatever is in the middle. I, I want to tap on things and that's yeah, exactly. what I'm doing and this, this, that's the way to do it. Alright. <laughs> 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 